Yes, even this guy sounds happy about spring returning to Marion. And more new life could be popping up on the riverfront as community leaders plan one of the largest renovation projects ever seen downtown. A game changer for our city. The change Mark Fowser talks about is called Stellar Communities. After four tries, Marion is now a finalist for millions of dollars from the state. The proposal takes all the downtown improvements to a new level, starting where many enter Marion, Highway 18 at the soccer venues of Ballard Field. It doesn't look like much now, of course, because last winter was just brutal to Ballard Field and the rest of the community. But imagine coming here someday and watching a game in a first-rate facility. That's all part of this massive project. It's the cornerstone, in fact, that starts here, wraps around, and ends up downtown. And community leaders want you to know that's just the beginning. All 18 acres of Ballard could become a massive gateway park with more fields and spots for concerts and other large group activities. Right across the highway, a new OD dog park could welcome pets, owners too. And back on the riverfront, the scene of many First Fridays could become an expanded river walk with a footbridge, outdoor performance spaces, and walking areas tying in the natural beauty with modern landscaping. Doug Lance saw what new vision could do as he led the YMCA in the renovated Memorial Coliseum. Yeah. Now he's ready to join this dream and watch it take shape on the other side of the river. Thinking about linking the, 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 the river walk and, and Ballard Field and the downtown area and the YMCA and, and the vision that they have to be able to develop that area is amazing to me. The overall plan has a lot of pieces, and community leaders must now show unity and support to a visiting state team. City planner Aletha Dunstan developed the proposal and says being a stellar community is more than the money. It's accelerating an idea that Marion is already changing the face of downtown for the future. We're a new generation that isn't necessarily growing up downtown, so this is emphasizing the riverfront and beautifying that and having public park spaces and areas that we can have. Um, small festivals, big festivals, different types of events, um, so we can really activate downtown. The success of the plan may now depend on the presentation Marion can make. Lance is one of the leaders who will help carry the vision and bring lots of Marion's resources together for a united front. Support, promotion, and matching dollars. He's watched it happen before in Marion, when some said, no way. The thing that's really cool about Marion is I know that we're going to continue. You know, the people here are going to continue to work towards making these visions come true. So there's a stellar future, maybe, just around the bend for Marion. But with determination, city leaders say that vision is already moving, and they hope the state will give it one very big push.